Good morning. It's Thursday the 23rd of December. I'm Vicky Higgins and leading you through the reflection today. And the chapter we're reflecting on is from Matthew, chapter 23, verses 1 to 12. So I'll start by reading that through. Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The teachers of the law and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat, so you must obey them and do everything they tell you. But do not do what they do, for they do not practice what they preach. They tie up heavy loads and put them on men's shoulders, but they themselves are not willing to lift a finger to move them. Everything they do is done for men to see. They make their flat trees wide and the tassels on their garments long. They love the place of honour at banquets and the most important seats in the synagogue. They love to be greeted in the marketplaces and to have men call them rabbi. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you, are only, you have only one master, and you are all brothers. Do not call anyone on earth father, for you have one father, and he is in heaven. Nor are you to be called teacher, for you have one teacher, the Christ. The greatest among you will be your servant, for whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. This is the word of the Lord. So this reading fixes our eyes firmly on God, on the Holy Trinity, referencing God as our Father, Jesus as our Teacher, our Saviour and our Messiah. Everything we love about God and the Holy Trinity is here in this passage. And I thought to myself, what a timely reminder. I don't know about you, but I'm quite behind in my preparations for Christmas this year. And it's easy to get caught up in the world. I think I've just about finished with present and food shopping, but I'm still behind with my cards and I've still got a bit of a to-do list in work. This passage really made me think it is so easy to get wrapped up in the demands and expectations at this time of year. The heavy loads that we sometimes have to bear because of what society or the telly tells us we need to be doing. Jesus is clear in the passage that if we focus only on the actions of the expectations and the burdens, then that could separate us from God. It can take over and that would not be a good thing. So if it's all about the prezies and the cards, then we, bec we risk becoming further away from Jesus, which I love this phrase, or who is the reason for the season. So a good time, no matter where we are up to in our preparations, to pause daily, regularly, and remember, what are we celebrating? We're celebrating the birth of our, our Saviour, bringing about our salvation and a real relationship with God. And that is so important to put at the centre of this time. Of course, it doesn't get us out of all the preparations, because the other message in this passage is about other people looking out for others more than looking out for ourselves, lifting up others more than lifting up ourselves. So with the presents and especially the cards, which I am a little bit behind on, it's important that if they're a message and a, a gesture of care and love for others, which they often are, that they are important too. It's important we look after others at this time and it's a good time to show them our care and love. Thinking about looking after others, it might be that practically we need to provide for others as we know that it can be a difficult time for some. But also emotionally. I've seen lots of posts on Facebook recently of people who have maybe experienced loss or are struggling with their health. And at this joyful time, they feel out of step with other people. Even though the message for Christmas is about support and bringing everyone together, People can feel isolated and lonely because they feel more different when they're not excited and looking forward. So emotionally, us reaching out to other people is allowing people to share how they're feeling, however that is. And at times we need to be, we need to bring comfort as well as joy. It's good to share the joy as well because that's good for people too. But whichever way or however we're feeling, it's important that we allow others to be open and honest about how they're feeling. And we, fixing our eyes on God, minister to that. 
So this reading for me summarises the commandments of love. Lord God, with all our heart, our soul, and to reach out to our neighbour, to love our neighbour as ourselves. So dear Lord, I just pray that your heart is our heart as we prepare to celebrate the birth of your son, Jesus, who came to meet us where we're at. If we're excitedly running towards him, then he's there. If we're hiding and feeling not good enough, he's there. If we're struggling with physical pain, he's there. If we're doubtful, if we're fearful, if we're angry, the Saviour comes there too. So thank you, Jesus, <clears throat> for coming to save us. And we pray that, that we demonstrate your love here on earth by reaching out to others at this time. Amen.